How's it going everyone? My name is Darius and I'm Carmen and we're the founders of Wealth Nation. We help go-getters and entrepreneurs become their own source of financing by utilizing the concept of infinite banking. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time we come out with brand new videos. So the purpose of this video is to teach you how to recycle your money just like the banks. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, you need to understand how the banks make money in the first place. So how do the banks make money? First and foremost, the banks are in the business of lending. Mm -hmm. They lend money to you, me, and everyone else who needs money. Because mm -hmm. think about it, we all have mortgages or car notes or credit cards or personal loans, whatever the case may be. We always need money in some sort of capacity. Mm -hmm. And where do we go to get the money from? The banks. The banks, mm -hmm. <laughs> nine times out of 10. But let's think about that, take that to another step. How do the banks get money to lend in the first place? Do you think that they just have a stash of money that they're sitting on? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and where does that money come from? You and me and everybody else. <laughs> because every single time you deposit money into the bank, the bank is only required to hold a fraction of that money on hand. There's actually a term for it and it's called fractional reserve banking. Mm -hmm. Totally look it up. And what fractional reserve banking is, is the banks hold on to 10% of your deposits in reserves mm -hmm. and the 90% they put into their general pool of funds and lend to people like you and me. Mm -hmm. So if we break that down, what I mean is, let's say I go to the bank and I deposit $1,000. The banks are going to hold on to $100 in reserves and they're going to lend $900 out to people like you and me. Mm -hmm. And they can do this time and time again. So if you think about all of the money that we are putting into the banks on a daily basis, the banks are literally just taking our deposits and lending it back to us mm -hmm. plus interest. Mm -hmm. And they're keeping the difference. But before we get upset, I think we should say thank you because they give us a great template for the concept of infinite banking. Good point. Because instead of, when, when it comes to infinite banking, instead of taking your deposits and putting them into the bank, you're going to purchase whole life insurance policies. And what that allows you to do when purchasing a whole life insurance policy from a mutual insurance company, you earn a guaranteed 4% compound interest. Mm -hmm. And what that allows you to do is borrow more and more money every single year. Yep. Keyword borrow. So there's a lender and a borrower when it comes to the bank. Banks are the lenders and we're the borrowers. Always. When utilizing our insurance policies, what we're going to do is instead of borrowing money from our personal insurance policy, we're going to use our personal insurance policy as collateral to borrow from the insurance company so that our money can continue to earn that guaranteed 4% compound interest, even though we have access to cash. Yes. And we're going to take that cash and do the exact same thing that we would have borrowed the money from the bank to do. Mm hmm. For example, <laughs> Darius and I do this all the time. So we use infinite banking for so many different things. Yes. Um, we have used infinite banking to pay off third party debt. Mm -hmm. That money has accumulated and grown to allow us to pay off our rent. Mm -hmm. And that money has accumulated to, to grow and allow us to pay some of our lifestyle expenses, like for entertainment, mm -hmm. some of our, our bills and things like that. And we've also used it to fund our business. Mm -hmm. So when you are able to recycle money and continue to to borrow money and keep it in your system and you're paying yourself mm -hmm. interest that just more and more money that's stacking up and allowing you to continue to hold on to more of your money instead of spending it um, with third-party institutions yes that's more and more interest that you're able to keep in your household mm -hmm. instead of spending it to uh, fund the banks. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Because one thing that we don't think about when we're talking about recycling money and, and the banks and their system, mm -hmm. think about all of the debt. We're just talking about third-party debt that we have. Every single month you are paying between 100 to $800, the average American is paying all of that money every single month to the bank. Yeah. And what's that doing is significantly restricting our cash flow because that money is allocated to pay off debt. 
So once we're able to remove the bank from that situation mm -hmm. and keep that 100 to 800 dollars, however mm -hmm. much you're spending on a, on a monthly basis, uh, within your own system, that is a game changer mm -hmm. and allows you to have so much more freedom and flexibility within your own life because you're controlling the loan structure, you're controlling the repayments, and you don't have somebody knocking at your door at every single month going, <laughs> pay me my money. <laughs> <laughs> and I think what the banks are experts at is uh, splitting our money up into small pieces. Mm -hmm. what, what that does, it, it increases the volume. Mm -hmm. So think if you have multiple credit cards, you're spending principal and interest on multiple credit cards, you have a house note, you have a car payment, and you want to go on vacation. It adds up. It adds up, even though there's small amounts that you're spending in many different directions. Totally. And that's another thing. You said vacation. We've used our banking uh, <laughs> systems to go on vacation and to pay ourselves all that principal and interest back. So the point of us sharing this information again with you is just to understand first and foremost how the banks work. Mm -hmm. Because Darius and I are always trying to work smarter instead of harder. Mm -hmm. So if the banks are the ones who have all of the money, it's obviously working for them. So instead of trying to recreate the wheel, we just take a few notes off of their um, off of their tests that they're taking and we just duplicate it. Yeah, if it's working, just do what they're doing. Exactly, but on your own <laughs> scale. And you'll notice how that money starts to add and multiply and accumulate. time and time again Absolutely. because you're just using your own money. Mm -hmm. We spend so much time trying to think of these brilliant ideas of investing and putting our money in places where it'll make more money. First and foremost, think about all of the money that you are spending on a monthly basis mm -hmm. and try to figure out how you can get that money back. Because if you're spending $800 a month and that's leaving you and you never see it again, what would happen if you could keep $800 a month mm. and that becomes cash flow instead? Things to think about. Absolutely. So as you think about these things, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and again, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of every single time we come out with videos just like this one, yep. teaching you different tips and techniques and things to think about when it comes to infinite banking and owning your own lifestyle. Exactly. So we actually have a freebie for you if you would like to indulge in it. It's called 52 Ways to Own Your Own Lifestyle. So we will put the link below so that you can actually click on it and it gives you exactly all the different footprints and ideas and tips and tricks that we have used and mm -hmm. we, we know other people have used. And if infinite banking is something that you're ready to get started with right now, use the link below to apply to become our client. And additionally, if you want to keep up with what we're doing, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. And remember to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will. <laughs>